Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about integrated risk management or governance risk and compliance, that's IRM or GRC, and a new Utah feature related to issue management. Big, big changes in the Utah release as it relates to issues. You can see it on my screen. Issues are now many to many, and that's just a small part of it. It's been a big architectural overhaul for how issues work in GRC. I made this issue, it doesn't actually say that, I just put the description as that and uh, because I want to show you how this works. So I'm in the workspace for risk, but this would apply if I'm in the compliance workspace or the audit workspace or the privacy workspace because integrated risk or GRC is all um, related to each other. So if you have all of them installed, what you're going to see here applies to all of them. So there's that title that I gave it there I was trying to find. So to illustrate this, I'm going to do something and I'm going to add some controls to this issue, right? So not one control, I can add more than one control. And actually, before I do that, let's take a look. I want to call your attention to the very top. Entities, controls, risks, and more. And if I go to more, notice I have a fresh issue, right? Nothing has been related to this whatsoever. All right, so let's go back to that add controls. And I'm going to pick, um, let's just scroll to the right here. I want to pick something with an actual number, not blank like that. So I've got a bunch of there with an actual number. Um, and I can see, I just want to show you that I've got some entities associated with it too. Workday, Accounts Payable, New York Data Center, and those also have control objectives associated with it. So let's just go ahead and do what we haven't been able to do before and add three controls to this issue. And I will save that. So now I have an issue mapping to multiple controls, which saves time. I don't have to track the issue multiple times now. But look what just happened. Now those entities that were associated with those controls have been added to this issue. If I go to the drop down menu, the control objectives that were associated with those controls have now been associated with this issue. The same even applies to risk. So let's go ahead and do the same thing that we did for controls and add a couple of risks and associate them with our issue. Uh, it has a bunch of loss of confidentiality. There we go, that looks better. So I've got loss of availability for Windows Mobile, XAP, and retail client registration. Um, that's the entities associated with it. And let's see, I do have a risk statement of loss availability associated with this. So I'm going to go ahead and add those to this issue and I'm going to save. And that's going to do two things. It's going to add the risks associated with this, but it's going to update the entities list to now include those entities that were associated with those risks. And wait, there's more. The risk statement of loss of availability is now going to be associated with this particular issue. Now, if that wasn't cool enough, I just wanted to play around and said, well, what if what if happens when I do the reverse? I added three controls. What if I go remove those three controls from my issue? This might blow your mind. It didn't exactly blow my mind, but I was happy to see that this use case was covered. If I remove the controls, it removes the downstream things that it added. So I'll just go ahead and save that, and you'll see the entities is back down to three, and there's no longer any control objectives associated with this issue. But I want to show you my last cool thing before we end the video. Let's add some controls back so we get those relationships. I'll just grab this Workday Accounts Payable and New York Data Center, add that back, and I'll get my entities back, and I'll get my control objectives back after I hit the Save button, now all associated with this particular issue. So there's my six entities, and if we check, now I've got three control objectives. So I put everything back. Now, the last cool thing that I've come to know and love here is the 360 degree view. That's right. Now an issue has this 360 degree view, and we can see everything, and now that is not correct. Um, let's actually, I opened this earlier before I recorded, so it looks like it didn't refresh. So let's just switch views here. I'm going to go into audits and I'm going to switch back to issue and hopefully we see our update. We do. So I've got three control objectives, three controls and six entities now all associated with this issue and it applies to them. If there was any upstream, downstream or included relationships, it'd seem here, but I can now see those relationships between this issue and all these downstream things. So that's it. That's a new big feature in GRC. 
um, or integrated risk management in ServiceNow's Utah release. You should definitely go check it out. Issues, issues, issues just got way, way better and more flexible and a lot less work if you're managing issues. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in new features for integrated risk or governance risk and compliance in ServiceNow's Utah release. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.